Obviously, this is going to mess up the structural rigidity of the hood. Dudes, it's your buddy Aaron. Welcome back to another video on the channel with the Boosted G35. We got some cool free mods coming to you today. We're gonna be cutting up our hood here. We're gonna be installing some hood vents to help with some ventilation, give it a little bit of style without having to drop a check on a carbon fiber vented hood or any other vented hoods that they have for the G35 in the aftermarket space. We're gonna try to do this with our cutoff wheel. We're gonna be basically measuring and taping off the areas where we are gonna be wanting to cut. My buddy Javier on Instagram, he actually did this on his G35, came out really good. Here's a picture of it right here. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Now, obviously this is going to mess up the structural rigidity of the hood, so it might make it a little bit more unsafe, but we got a bash bar, so we're good. And it's also going to basically ruin the paint and you're gonna wanna get your hood repainted afterwards. Where we're cutting the vents, it will be exposing the metal underneath that is not painted and could get rust if it is not primed and painted. There's another G35 YouTuber out there, Denali. He actually did this on his sedan and it came out pretty good. I wanna go with a little bit of a different style than him and try to go more towards what my friend did with his uh, coupe. So that's basically what the goals are for today. Free hood vents. And if you guys have a cutoff wheel, you guys can probably do this as well. This is the cutoff wheel that I'm talking about. We got the Milwaukee cutoff saw and we're gonna be using this to cut the vents out of our hood. Uh, it is definitely a time consuming process being that we do have to remove the hood. We're gonna have to measure out everything on, on the front. We're gonna have to you know, lay down our tape, make sure everything is perfect and ready to be cut. And then we gotta flip over the hood and then we gotta cut underneath because there's also, well obviously we gotta remove this heat padding which is pretty messed up from all the oil that was spraying around here before. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to cut off the underside sheets as well because they will be in the way. Uh, but that's not a big problem for us. We've already cut the hood up before, as you can see right there. That cut was actually to fit our, uh, when we had the larger throttle body, uh, as well as our plenum spacer together, it would hit the hood and start shaving the throttle body, but we're good. We actually cut that hole before, so we know what we're doing, you know what I mean? First things first, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hood and get this thing on a workbench for us to start measuring it out and taping it up. All right guys, so we got it laid down on our workbench here. We're getting ready to go ahead and mock up our tape as well as measurements and things like that so we can get our holes cut. Before we go ahead and get started, just want to give you guys a huge shout out. Thank you guys for keeping up with the video, staying tuned on the G35 build. If you guys are really enjoying the content, please smash that like button. It really helps us out. Even the dislike button, if you guys don't like it, really helps us out, pushes the videos up there, gets them out there. So thank you so much. And let me know what you guys think down in the comments. If you guys would rather just get a carbon fiber hood with the vents already made, or if you guys will actually attempt this yourself after watching this video. Let me know. to record that last piece but we just went ahead and finished up our passenger side uh, basic outline of where we're gonna put our hood vents now we still got to cut you know obviously the vents in the middle so I'm gonna go ahead and get to measuring those out soon but we got our basic outline um, my buddy here was telling me he's, he's kind of he's kind of walking me through his little process here so he was showing me like how he taped it up and he had to cut like the front of the vents off because then it wouldn't bend all the way down it would hit the intake or or it'll hit uh, the plenum or something. So he, so the first two vents he cut off like a good, like inch or two inches off of the metal so that it can bend down and look good. But you can see this other side came out really, really nice. So that's what we're aiming for. Um, we got a little bit more of an aggressive angle at the front of our hood than his. 
but we're, we're basically taking the same shape as his. Alright guys, check it out. So we have everything taped up, measured up, everything is on point. We are ready to go. I did like a bunch of triple checks and did a couple adjustments just to make sure that everything is centered and even. I, I had to bring the tape over or at least my cutting line over just a little bit just to make sure it's perfectly even with this side. Uh, so we got three different vents we're going to be having on each side and you're going to see these little squiggly line parts. These parts are going to be cutting out completely and removing from the hood, giving these flaps a little bit more room to bend down and scoop up some air. So these front two flaps, I'm going to be cutting off these front pieces and this last flap right here is just going to, it's not going to have anything trimmed. It's just going to bend down a little bit anyway. So yeah, and plus it'll give us a little bit more clearance uh, without it like hitting the plenum or anything like that. So we should be good. Nice little airflow coming through there. We got it mocked up on both sides. Everything is perfect to the T. So all I gotta do is start cutting and yeah, we'll start messing with it. Let's get it. All right guys, so we used the cutoff wheel to do most of the damage as far as the cutting. We got most of the large cuts made. Now we're gonna go over it with our Dremel just to get into all the little corners, make sure we don't overcut into the hood and uh, just make sure we kind of fine tune our cuts here on the edges. So we're gonna use our Dremel to do that and we'll get it rolling. Oh, this has gotta be one of the, <laughs> yeah, it's one of the glue spots for the, uh, for the heat the heat shield under there, we'll grab it onto this little piece. So we're gonna have to remove that heat shield under there once we get to that, but we'll get to that. All right guys, so the cutting all here on the driver's side is all set. So basically we can start removing all the tape and everything, but we still gotta cut that other side. I'd rather just kinda leave everything mocked up for now. Definitely a couple things that I need to go back over and kinda grind down, make sure I'm not poking myself with that deadly needle right there. Things like that, I just gotta go back around and make sure it's all sanded down, you know, to be a little bit more cleaner, so that when we do actually, you know, like fill in the little parts that we've damaged and primer it up, we won't have all this extra metal kind of sticking out. We'll grind it down, make sure it's nice and clean, and then get it ready for the paint. But let's go ahead and do the other side, and then we can go ahead and rip off all of the blue tape, and we'll flip it over, because I know there's some more that we gotta cut on the under, under part, and we gotta remove that heat shield too, so let's go ahead and do that. Check it out guys, this thing is looking sick already and we still got all the tape on it and everything. So really the only open pieces that we see is just the parts that we were gonna trim off to allow these larger flaps to, you know, uh, get bent down. So now what we're facing is the inside foam, uh, heat shield piece, whatever you wanna call it. We gotta go ahead and remove that and we also gotta cut the rest of the um, the metal on the other side. So go ahead and turn it around, uh, mock it up, and remove the heat shield and cut the metal, and then we should be able to start bending these down. The only thing is I don't have the hardware in this video to keep these bent down, but we'll see how they react if I can, you know, if I can play with them, if they'll stay where they're at. Um, I know that um, putting a bracket on there to kind of keep it in a certain position with, this, with, with it trying to spring back up is, is probably the best solution. Um, but gluing the brackets on or bolting them on and sanding down the bolt, like I don't really know how I'm gonna do that exactly at this point. So we'll probably do that in a future video. But let's go ahead and clean it up, flip it around, you know, do our thing on the other side and uh, see if we can get these things bent down. Let's get it done. So you can already kind of see some of the cuts that I've made. So I'm just going to cut the metal that's on my side. I'm going to not cut this hood. I'm going to try my best not to cut the hood. But we're just going to cut this around here. Yes, it does remove some of the safety 
like that was built into this hood because obviously you need these beams to help it you know crush or resist anything when you crash into something but race car we're understanding the risk we got a race car we're gonna we're gonna mock it up so we're gonna remove that and go ahead and throw it on There's so much cutting just for this one side. I still gotta do the whole thing on the other side. But let's flip it around and see what it looks like. Oh shit. Dude, that's sick! Alright, let's go ahead and pull all this shit off. <laughs> Yo, dude! Bro, look at that side. That shit is looking sick! So, I think I'm still gonna cut all this. It's like a whole bracket right here. So I should cut all that out just so we don't see it because that thing really comes to a point right there, but dude That's fucking bad ass Oh my god, it's so dirty right now, and it's not even installed. It's not even touched up, but it's looking sick So I gotta go ahead and cut off the inside of this side, and uh, we'll see what it looks like when it's all set and cleaned up Yo, look at how fresh this thing looks dude. Oh my god first time and it came out freaking amazing super even looking so good i can't wait let's go ahead we're gonna go ahead and put it on the car now but i just can't wait to get the whole thing painted get the whole rear bumper matching oh mfg check this thing out dudes i didn't even think it would come out so good first try if you guys want this done on your hood and you guys live in south florida you guys can actually hit me up i got a phone number down in the description as well as you can message me on instagram over at double ag35 um yeah i post stuff like this all the time on the instagram and i do work on other cars so if you guys want to bring your g or z to me and you want to get this done uh, i got your back let me know she posted a picture today with it without the hood it actually looks so freaking gangster that is awesome. But let's go ahead and put the hood on and see what it looks like. Oh my god, dude, that looks sick, dude. Wow, I love it. I trimmed it up and everything, like I trimmed the, so it's a little bit easier to touch on the top. But when I do all the body work, I'm gonna go in and shave it all down and make it real easy. You did a good job, sick job. Sick job. I, I feel sick. You, know? you feel sick? I'm so sick that I feel sick. <laughs> oh my I'm sick god. Now. No, you're I'm sick, sick now? That's so sick. I know, it's so sick that you're just yeah, sick. It's so sick that it, I can feel sick, sick on me. <laughs> this is looking awesome guys. I'm super happy with how it came out. Definitely excited to get this thing painted. Uh, we'll probably be adding some brackets to keep these in place because they're kind of flapping around a little bit. Um, but that's really easy to fix. We'll probably end up gluing some brackets on and kind of just keeping them sprung down and open. I might also have to get something to cover the intakes uh, just in case it starts raining while I'm driving. And because like this will just start dumping rain, <laughs> rainwater into into the intake there and some electrical probably gotta, gonna have to cover as well um, but nothing crazy really easy to do and it's definitely worth it especially if we're gonna be taking this thing to the track it's gonna give us a lot more airflow and cool down that motor that is powered by the Gretti twin turbo kit like I said you guys can hit me up if you guys want to get this done to your car uh, I would definitely love to take it on and take care of that for you guys thank you guys for tuning into this Friday's video on the G35 always got some more amazing content to come up so if you guys are new make sure you smash that subscribe button if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button and it always helps us out and gets the videos out there. No, but really, thank you guys so much for your support. Really appreciate it. And I'm going to see you guys next Friday at 5. Take it easy.